There's no way this shaft is going to be straight. Not after this kind of damage. You wouldn't Stay. believe the damage we have on this propeller. You can see along the side here of this aluminum propeller that it has definitely hit a lot of underground rocks, probably even tree stumps. Before we even think about putting the new propeller on here, which is stainless, we need to make sure the propeller shaft itself isn't bent. Because if it is, we definitely got a lot more damage we need to fix before we put on a new propeller. Let's go through and talk about how we're gonna do that. This is gonna be the new propeller. It's a Viper brand. It was original on this boat at one point in time, as I looked up. Part number, if you're curious, 174889. But you can see here, real nice, shiny finish. A lot heavier than the aluminum one that was on here originally. Eventually, we hope to get this back on. But before we can do this, we wanna make sure, as I mentioned, that this propeller shaft is spinning properly. Otherwise, what'll happen is we will shake out that bearing or even worse, the seal, and we'll let water inside of this lower unit. And we don't wanna have that happen. What you can see here is we have the dial indicator kit. I got this for around, I wanna say somewhere between 40 to $50, really good deal. These things, in my opinion, can get really pricey. So I was surprised I was able to find it. I'll put a link in the description for how much I got it for exactly and also where you can find it. This is gonna be a must if you're running into a scenario where you're trying to tell if your propeller shaft is bent or not. You can see here, we've got three main components, the vice grips, the dial indicator, and then the remote that actually allows us to figure out what the run out is on our propeller shaft. Be careful, these vice grips have a tendency to scratch paint and the paint on this thing is obviously very lacking as it is so I'm not too worried about it but on your application maybe put something in between there to keep it from scratching it because it is pretty bad all right and then what we're going to do is we'll take this little remote piece and thread it into the vice grip here all right and we're not going to worry too much about this little red handle. Then what we'll do is we need to rotate it as such. And then this little guy, we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down until this shaft here starts to get pretty tight. Once you feel it getting pretty tight, you're almost done. Okay, and let's take the dial indicator now and we will slide that into place. And then there is a, there's a nut back here that you'll tighten to keep that in one place. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, and then let's aim it for the center of this shaft here. Let's see if we can get that nice and tight. So the, the remote here is, is in, it's pretty rigid right now. And this is where the red the red handle comes into play. So we're gonna crank this down, this little red handle. You'll feel the tension on it. There we go. All right, and that is it. You can see my dial indicator is kind of out of whack here because of where we have it. But we can adjust this face up here using this dial and then this dial is needed. So let's go ahead and see, see how far off it is from the actual shaft. And what I'm doing now is eyeballing between there and see if we can get it to touch. And yeah, you gotta squint pretty good to see that. All right, and let's take now the dial indicator, now that we're touching and set it to zero, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead now and talk about how to go from here in terms of rotating the shaft. Go ahead and spin this around. And the dial indicator barely comes up. I mean, it's, I could barely see it moving. 
but we are making very light contact on it. But yeah, there's, there's no run out. And I think this can be contributed to the type of propeller that, that was on here. It was a aluminum propeller and it looks like that propeller is what took the brunt of it. This shaft is good. If you are watching this video and you have a bent propeller shaft, keep in mind they do run about 400 bucks and you can take these shafts out. Ask me if you need a video on how to remove this. I have, I have a few videos that shows how to pull these out. But if you do have a propeller shaft that is bent, you can take it oftentimes to a propeller shop in your area and they will be able to bend this back for you. Hope you liked the video. As always, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you thought it was helpful. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Have a good this one, everybody. Thing, this shot, can you see this really good? How's my legs look? If they look good, how about that?